In this task, we're going to explore our lab data and learn how to perform a join. I have QGIS Desktop open and I've added the county shapefile from the Lab 2 data. So let's examine the attributes we have to work with. I'm going to right click on this layer and from the context menu choose Open Attribute Table. I can see that there are 3,283 records. The area and perimeter fields are created as part of the file format, which is a shapefile. So these represent the area and the perimeter of each feature in map unit, in other words, each county. Since this data set is in the geographic coordinate system, these units are in decimal degrees. And this is a really difficult unit to work with, so these values don't provide much added information to us. This column on the far right, square mileage, is much more useful. This holds the area of each polygon in square miles. County P010 is a unique ID. Then there are fields for the state abbreviation, the county name, and the FIPS code. FIPS is another acronym. It stands for the Federal Information Processing Standard. These are unique codes for each census designation. So each state has a FIPS code and each county has a FIPS code. This data set has a column for the state FIPS, but no column for the county FIPS. This FIPS column here is a combination of state and county. The first two digits represent the state. The last three digits represent the county FIPS code. So by combining the state and county FIPS codes, each county in the United States receives a unique five-digit ID. So with the data in this attribute table right now, I can identify the state and county names and the size of each county. So now I'm going to add a standalone table to QGIS, and I can do this with the Add Vector Data button. So I'll click that, click the Browse button, and my filter is set to Esri Shapefile. I'm going to change this to All Files. And I'm going to add the CE2000T DBF file. I'll click Open. And the table is added to my Layers panel. And to look at this table, I can right-click on it. And from the Context menu, we choose Open Attribute Table. So I can see there's a lot of socioeconomic data contained in this file. Population totals, population total by gender, population total by race, etc. And it would be great to append all this data to my counties layer. And to do this, I would need a unique ID field common to both the county's attribute table and this standalone table. I might initially think that county name would work. However, if I sort this standalone table by county, I can see right away that there are half a dozen entries for Adams County or more. So that's not a unique ID. There's Adams counties in many different states. The FIPS code is what I want, because this FIPS code, the combination of the two-digit state and three-digit county, provides a unique ID for each county. Now that I'm familiar with both tables, I'm going to close this table. And to perform the join, I'm going to right-click on the counties layer and open up the layer properties for it. And I'll go to the Joins tab. To start the join, I'll click the Add Join green plus button down here. Starting out with this join layer up here, the join layer is the table I'll join to the shapefile attribute table. Since I only have one table in my layers panel, there's only one choice, CE2000T. Since I've previewed both the county layer attribute table and the CE2000T standalone table, I know the join field is FIPS and the target field is also FIPS. So the join field is FIPS and I'll set the target field to FIPS. Now both of these fields happen to have the same name, but that's not a requirement for a join. This is just a coincidence in this case. You just need to have the same common ID in both fields. They can have different names. Now that I've got that set up, I'll just click OK. And the join has been added. And I'll click OK on this. And now let's use the Identify tool. I'll identify one of these counties. Expand this. And you can see now that I have all these extra attribute columns appended to my attributes for the counties layer. Now this join exists only within the QGIS document. In other words, the extra fields aren't physically appended to the shapefile yet. To make this join permanent, I'll save the layer to a new copy. So I'll simply right click on my counties layer and choose Save As, browse to my data folder, and I'll just call this the same thing, but I'll tack on the word census to the end. and click OK. Now I have a new version of that counties layer that is complete with all of those appended columns. Now I can remove the original counties layer. Right click and from the context menu choose remove since I no longer need that. All the data I need is 
in this layer. In fact, I don't need the standalone table either. I can remove that. Those are both intermediate data sets. This new counties layer with all the appended attributes is the one I'm going to work with. In the next task, you'll learn how to classify the newly joined data to make what is known as a chloropleth map or a data map.